Um, it's helpful to flesh this out with an example. Say a local business approaches me and they say, what's the best way uh, to advertise my business online? We want a homepage, an about us page, a services page, and a contact page. Um, for that sort of website, I would be advising something along the lines of either WordPress or Webflow, uh, because uh, it's got to load really quickly, it's got to be efficient, um, it's got to uh, look really good, uh, and uh, there's really not much else from that, uh, apart from maybe core SEO, um, on-page SEO principles being built into it. Um, I wouldn't be advising they go down the route of bubble. Uh, let's say that same business comes to me and they say, we want to be able to track our inventory. We want to send uh, an SMS notification to our customers when their order is ready. Uh, we want a bespoke piece of software effectively. That's when I'd be saying, yeah, I would build that with bubble. Um, but I might then even advise that they uh, they have a bubble app on a subdomain uh, like app.theirdomain.com compared to uh, having the the brochure website on their root domain like their business name.com. Um, and that's because the, uh, the, the brochure site, they might want to make small changes to that. Uh, it, it needs to have a really um, good uh, page load time uh, for on-page SEO benefits. WordPress or Webflow would be a really good fit for that. But the infantry tracker or a CRM or kind of any uh, bespoke web app, then that's when I go down the bubble route. In fact, a, an example that I read about on the bubble forum was someone who ran a mobile phone repair shop and uh, they wanted to be able to uh, log uh, when they received a phone in from a customer, the customer's details, track it through the different stages of the repair program, maybe the, the different uh, repair options that they had available, uh, email or SMS notified the customer when the repair was ready. Um, and yeah, they wanted to be able to track the process from start to finish when they received the phone into returning it to the customer. Um, and they had built that with Bubble. And actually, uh, I believe they've gone on to have some success because they have now monetized this app uh, because it, it's, it's really niche. It's only for mobile phone repair shops. It's built completely around uh, that niche industry. Uh, and this guy now um, sells access to this app probably for a subscription to other mobile phone repair shops. So going back to the example of a, a local business who wants to just promote themselves online, um, you can very quickly, very inexpensively, um, in fact, a lot of web hosts in the WordPress space offer this now, uh, is effectively a WordPress install that has got Elementor, which is a WordPress page builder, pre-installed, other pre-installed apps, and you can effectively drag and drop a, a blog post with a sidebar, header, footer, you can build up using the templates that provided a website very quickly. Um, but uh, you will find that, that there are some limitations there. Um, if you want to enhance a WordPress site uh, and you don't, uh, you're not a coder, uh, then you're going to be looking for someone who's built a plugin that will allow you to do that. Um, and uh, let's say you want to add like a booking feature or e-commerce, there are plenty of plugins that will uh, let you add that feature onto your website. But uh, if you want to extend that plugin, even in the smallest way, say for example, you want to have a, a shopping cart icon uh, hovering on the, the bottom right corner of the screen that takes your user straight into a shopping cart um, for, the, for your website. Uh, unless you have any coding knowledge or you find an additional plugin that's going to allow you to do that, uh, then, then you can't, you're stuck. Um, whereas with Bubble, uh, you can build uh, an e-commerce platform and you can use a floating group to add that button in and you can control exactly what that button does all without writing a single line of code.